One of the major difference makers in your life will be whether you choose to pursue the path of stimulation or the path of presence. Now, you're making this choice, either consciously or unconsciously, right now. Maybe you've put in some thought and you've decided this is the path that I will take, or maybe you've never thought about this and never even heard of it at all, and it's new to you. And in that case, in either case, I wanna shed some light and hopefully help you decide what's better for you. Either one is fine, it just depends. What do you really want? See, this is all about subjective experience. It's all about how you're going to really just experience your life, how fun it will be for you. Will it be a 10 out of 10, you loved it, you know, like the best movie you ever watched? Or will it be kind of slow and boring and yeah, sometimes there's a little high here and there, but you're not really fulfilled and it's not that deep rewarding experience that you were after. See, when you're pursuing stimulation, you want that next great thing. You want the car, you want the delicious food, even if it's not healthy for you. You wanna feel good, right? And so you're going after these sensory pleasures. You're trying to you know, finally get that next thing thing because once you get it you'll be happy and it's always this race and it's always this waiting and anticipation for the future you're not happy now but once you'll have it you'll be happy usually only for a little bit but you know you'll be happy at least right it's some form of happiness called gratification and the vast majority of society will live their life their entire life this way now we're experiencing a shift on the planet and people's consciousness uh, are rising, which is beautiful. However, still in the vast majority of people's lives, the driving motivation will be that stimulation, that source of gratification and, you know, just get rich quick or win the lottery or, you know, drink something that tastes good or numbs you so that you can socialize or take some other substance that really gets you feeling all kinds of crazy things just so that you can you know, experience something. The other route is presence. And of course, you might have guessed that this is the route that I prefer. Because here, you don't need to be the most successful person in the world to be happy. You're already happy. And then you also happen to do really well because you're coming from a genuine, warm place of abundance versus trying to get somewhere, get somewhere, get somewhere. Now, when you choose presence, is kind of boring up front. You know, you're reading a lot, you're watching videos like this, you know, you're meditating, you're spending an hour a day maybe even meditating, that's a lot. Most people would never do that, maybe 10 minutes a day, still great. You're constantly developing yourself and putting in the time to really sharpen your mind. And you're making sure that your mind is the best that it can be because you understand that it's all about framing and controlling your own reality, controlling your own thinking and your thought patterns so that you can have your life the way you want to have it. Experience what you want to experience by choice instead of by accident. And you're not chasing highs. Actually, you tend to avoid them. And whenever you do experience one, you might be able to enjoy it. However, it's not a driving force. You might get that nice car or you might have some great success and breakthrough, but it doesn't make you who you are. You're already coming from that deep place. And this is the beauty of it. If you'd like to switch from chasing stimulation to going into deep presence and really getting more out of your life, all you have to do is make a choice to give up the stimulation. It's that simple. See, most people think that to become present, you have to work really hard. I gotta get into the present moment. And sure, you need to meditate. Yeah, you need to work on yourself. Sure, sure, sure. All those things are great. However, the most important thing by far is give up your greatest source of stimulation and you will tend to lean towards presence by default. Because if you start giving those things up, there's not really much there to block you. So whether that's your favorite social media apps, just mindlessly scrolling and getting lost, or whether that's some substance or another source of stimulation that you have. Whatever it is that gets you high, whatever it is that makes you feel good temporarily, but doesn't really feel rewarding in the long run, try giving it up for 10 to 30 days and see what happens. It's a suggestion. You don't have to do it. 
if you are doing it, drop it in the comments below and make a little commitment and say how long you'll try it for and just see what happens. See what you do with your time. It's an experiment. You don't have to make that life choice right now and forever commit to that path. Maybe you just wanna test run this. Maybe you just want to experience presence or maybe you already have and you wanna amplify it a little more by taking away some of the stimulation. And that's what I did. And I'm not saying that I have zero stimulation in my life. I still eat great food. I still experience some amazing things and have lots of things that make me feel good on a sensory level, of course. However, the main priority is the presence. The main priority is to serve and give my gift to the world. And when you're coming from that place, everything is that much more enjoyable. So even when you go and have some of these experiences, they're that much more intensified. When I travel, it's a little more different than when the average person goes on the trip. They get all excited, they go on the trip, and then they come back and it's, uh, well for me, I can go on the trip and I can stay on the trip if I want to. I can do whatever I want. And there's a lot of choice and I'm able to enjoy it a lot more than most people that I know because when you're there and you're present, you're not bringing all this mental baggage with you. You're not feeling heavy. You're not thinking so much. You're just able to be here now and fully enjoy whatever is happening. And for myself, I've had struggles and pain and difficulties in my life. And I've been able to actually keep a great attitude throughout, not by forcing it or pretending like I'm happy, but through deep acceptance by being present. So the more you work on this and the more you develop this part of you, the greater returns you have in your life. And pretty much every area of your life improves as a direct result of this effort. And it can be hard, it can be tedious, it can feel kind of boring when you're used to stimulation. But I promise you that if you can stick to this and give it time, it will develop and you will start to feel better and better. And you will just keep lifting up into this direction and gaining momentum. And it's beautiful what happens, the kind of breakthrough that you can have just by spending 15, 30 minutes in meditation. All of a sudden you realize, hey, I wanna do this. And you go and you pursue it and you succeed. And all of a sudden you're living your dream and that's not unlikely. But you have to sacrifice some of that stimulation because the more time you spend being a consumer, you know, just consuming, whether that's, again, substances or some other addiction or anything, you know, you're buying stuff to make yourself feel good. The more you do that, the less presence you have because you're just sinking into this hole. And it is infinitely deep. And this is where a lot of depression comes from. This is where you're not fulfilled in your career because you're just chasing that thing. You're chasing that next high instead of really coming from your heart and figuring out what you really want and being honest with yourself and not operating out of guilt or any other negative emotion. You can be yourself. And that's what I want for you. I want you to truly experience deep bliss and happiness. And it can only come by making that choice. That's the way that you really make your life what you want it to be and yourself into a happy person that can actually enjoy it.